I have another flashlight review for you. This time it is the Thrunite Catapult Mini. If you're interested in hearing more about this amazing little powerhouse, keep watching. All right, before we begin, I just want to declare that this flashlight was sent to me for testing and review by Thrunite, and I did not pay for it. However, I'm receiving no compensation for the making of this video or from the sale of any of these lights. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go down to the tabletop, I'll go over the key features for this light, both its physical and performance specifications, how it operates, and then of course we'll get outside and we'll do some testing. All right, before we get in and take a much closer look at the Catapult Mini from Thrunite, let's first take a short look at what else was sent along with this. So this is the box that the flashlight arrived in from Thrunite, just a simple cardboard box, just the way I like it. Inside the box is what's important. So we have the usual lanyard, Type-C USB recharging cable, spare battery port cover, and a pair of O-rings. And finally, the instruction manual and warranty information. So let's put that all aside, focus in on the light. So what we'll do is we'll go over the physical and performance specifications for the light. We'll go over its key features, and then I'll go over its modes of operation. So let's get started. So the overall length of this light is 3.15 inches, which is 80 millimeters. The diameter at the basal is 1.3 inches, which is 33 millimeters. The diameter at the base, where the battery end of, of it is, is 0.98 millimeters, just under an inch, which is 25 millimeters. The weight with the battery is 4 ounces, or 116 grams. So let's go over the performance specification. So I'll go over these quickly because I will be going over them again as we go through the modes of operation. But starting at the very top at turbo, we, you get a 680 lumen lights, which will last for 70 minutes. And you will note that there is no step down on this. It will maintain the turbo lumen setting for the entire 70 minutes. It has a high mode of 235 lumens, which is which will run for 80 minutes. Again, no step down. A medium setting of 96 lumens, which will run for four hours. A low setting of 21 lumens, which will run for 12 hours. And of course, the Firefly setting of 0.5 lumens, which will run for 106 hours. It does also have a strobe, which, ha which will run at 680 lumens for 30 minutes. All right, now let's take a look at the key features for this flashlight and what sets it apart from other flashlights that I've tested from Thrunite. So to begin, as I mentioned in the opening, this really is a powerhouse pocket searchlight. And that's the best way I know of to describe it. It's not what I would call an EDC flashlight. It's not what I would call a, a general purpose camping light for that matter. But if you're looking for something that will give you a very, and I mean very tight beam thrown out to an extended distance, but still be in a small compact form, this may be the light that you want to take a look at. So its key features are, it does have a max beam distance of 598 meters, which would be 654 yards. That's a long ways out there when you think about it. Now, I have tested it, and as you will see in the test it, testing, that it will go out to that distance, but you're not really picking out a lot of detail at that maximum distance. It does have an IPX8 waterproof rating. It has a 1.5 meter impact resistance rating. It comes with an 1100 milliamp 18350 battery, and that's just a slight different enough that I wanted to be able to show that to you. So it looks like a shortened up 18650 battery, which is basically what it is, but this is an 18350 battery. And it does also come with a USB type C charging port, which is on the outside of the flashlight right here. And of course, as I mentioned, it does come with that cable. 
All right, let's take a look at the modes of operation for this light. So this is the on-off switch. It is the type of on-off switch that I really like that flash, that through night puts on some of its lights. Not only is it easy to find, it is very positive in feel. You definitely feel it as well as hear it when you turn it on and off and has the small LED indicator light in the center, which we'll talk more about in a minute. So to turn the light on, you simply press the button once to uh, move through the low, medium, and high modes. You just hold the button down. It'll cycle up to the three settings. To reach the turbo mode, either while the light is turned on or while it's turned off, let's demonstrate it from the off. You double click and you're into the turbo mode and you can either turn it off and it has a memory, of course, and come back at the last setting before you use turbo or let's put it back in turbo again. If you double click it, again, while in turbo, it'll take you back to the less, uh, last setting without turning the light off. Of course, like with most through night flashlights, it does have that firefly mode, which is accessed by pressing down the button and holding it for about one second while the light is turned off. And there is the firefly mode at 0.5 lumens, which you can turn off again. So in addition to the turbo mode, the Catapult Mini has three special modes built into its operation, including strobe, beacon, and SOS. To access those three special modes, you triple click the button either from the off condition or the on condition. We'll do it from the on condition. So press quickly, one, two, three. Now that we're in strobe, if I press the on off switch and hold it for one second, it'll move into beacon. And if I press down for another additional one second, it'll move into SOS. Turn the light off, back on, and that memory kicks in to take you to the last lumen setting before you went into special mode. Quickly, we'll just go over the lockout function for this flashlight. In order to access the lockout while the light is turned off, press down on the on off switch four times quickly and you will see the light flash three times to indicate that it's entering the lockout mode and then you'll be, not be able to use the switch to operate the light. To turn the light back on, then just do the reverse again, which is to press down four times quickly and your light will be ready for operation again. So I mentioned in going over the key features that the on-off switch has an LED built into it and that LED is used for a couple of things. To start with, it will give you a charge indicator which when the light is turned on, if the light is blue, let's see if I can demonstrate that now. Not sure if that's picking up. What that will indicate is that you have above 21% battery life left. If that light were showing purple, you would have between 11 and 20% of your battery life left. And if that light were showing red, you have between one and 10% of your battery life left, meaning get time to get it charged. Now that light also will do one more thing for you. And this is an interesting feature for a through night flashlight. And that is what is known as the breathing light or the breathing LED indicator. In order to access that while the light is turned off, press and hold the on off switch in for three seconds. The light will turn off, but let's hopefully it'll pick this up. The blue light will pulse on and off slowly and that's a kind of a cool feature. I've seen it on other brands of flashlight and what I like about that is if this was something I were to take camping and I were to use this in my tent and then lay it down. Having that breathing light just on, you know, semi go on and off allows me to find it in the dark and I don't have to be leaving it in the firefly mode all night because maybe that's all you need is just to be able to find it. You don't need, actually need any illumination. A very useful feature for sure. Okay, let's get outside and do some testing. All right, we're out doing some nighttime testing for the through night catapult mini. So let's turn this on. Let's see where I'm at with this. There's the lowest setting. Now, I think I mentioned earlier that I did not believe this was going to be a good woods light, at least not a great woods light, because this is intended for throwing. It throws a very, very tight beam for an extremely long distance, but has very little flood or spill out to the sides. But the more I've used it, the more I've taken it out on walks during the night, especially in the local partland, the more I can appreciate just what its capability of. Let's take it up to the next level. So that's the medium level. 
And let's take it up to the next level again. Now, this is where this light comes into its own, this and in turbo. While it doesn't have a lot of spill, there is a little, but not a lot of spill, but this is penetrating so far into the woods that I don't think it's doing the light justice to do the testing out here as it is. I might have to see if I can find another location. But what I've determined is if you are looking for something, specifically searching, then that's what this light is all about because as far as the light reaches, it is so intense that I can clearly identify whatever comes into the beam. So there's no chance of me missing something that, that I might be looking for. As long as this light hits it, I'll see it. There's no question about it. Right up into the tops of the trees. Oh yeah, this is quite amazing. Let's see if we can get it up one more. That's the highest intensity for this light, and it is just a laser. And I guess what's really impressive about this is the highest level on this is not that high compared to a lot of other lights, but because of the focus, this just works so much better at such greater distances. So, wow, man, I can see a long ways into the woods. This is, I, I, I haven't used a light out here that can see this far into the woods. It's, it's impressive to say the least. All right, so I relocated to a local sports field in my neighborhood. It's a good-sized field, and the lights that you can see off in the distance is an apartment building, and that's 400, maybe even 500 meters away, just to give you some sense of perspective. So let me turn on the Catapult Mini and give you an idea. The fence that you're seeing there is 200 meters. Little Built outbuilding for baseball and that type of thing is 200 meters. And if it's not picking up, it is shining on that building 500 meters away. I mean, it's not exceptionally bright, but it's enough that I can pick up everything, everything on this field clearly in that narrow, tight, intense beam. We'll close this video out with my thoughts on the Thru-Night Catapult Mini. So to begin, what I really like about this light obviously has to be the long range, very narrow, very tight, very intense beam. Now, to be honest, it's not something that I would have looked for in a flashlight if it had not been offered to me because it's not the type of thing I'm likely to take camping. Having said that, now that I've had it and had a chance to use it out in the woods and as you saw in the city as well, I can appreciate exactly what this light is intended for. It's a searchlight, a pocket-sized searchlight that you're likely to have with you if you need it. So it really does help with identification in the dark of items at a given range. Now that very night, uh, tight beam does have its negatives which is that it has no flood. Little, very little spill outside of that cone of light. Now that can be seen both as good as and bad because it does indicate just how tight the beam is but as a camping light I really like to have flood light so I can see what's around me without having to cast the beam at every spot. So it depends on how you look at it. It performs its intended mission exceptionally well, but it is not a general use EDC flashlight. So that's a couple of things I like about it and maybe a potential con depending on how you look at it. Here's a something I really like about it. It's compact size. This is tiny, it really is a tiny light. Just the same though, because, just because it's tiny doesn't mean it's easy to carry in a pocket. That wide basil is just a little awkward. It's not something you'd put, in, it's too small to carry in on your belt in a holster, I guess. And in your pocket, it's okay for the pocket of your coat, but in the pocket of your pants, that's really a bit of an awkward size. I think those are the two things that I see both as pros and cons. I think I mentioned earlier that I really like that on-off switch. It is the best of the switches that Through Night puts on their flashlights. I really like the run times on this light. One of the things that's different about this light that is light that I do really like is the fact that there is no step down from turbo or high. The given run times are what it is for the entire time it's at that lumen setting, which is really different for a light of this type. 
Okay, those are my overall thoughts, my pros and my cons for the Through Night Catapult Mini, but I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts on this flashlight. Do you have one? Uh, would you consider buying one? What are your thoughts on this? If you have one, what are your thoughts on it as well? If you have any questions, put that along with your thoughts in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And of course, I'll be putting all the specifications for this light, as well as where you can purchase it in the video description. All right, until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.